already told you what to do. And we must trust our intuition, right? So the quote of the day is your gifts, your blessings don't always come right wrapped in a pretty box or a pretty bow. Sometimes, sometimes it's going to come in sandpaper. <laughs> I said that. Sometimes it's going to come in sandpaper. Have the discernment and the wisdom to know if it's a blessing. Okay. And so intuition is your power. Intuition is your power and we must use it and exercise it. Right. So intuition is that spark of passion, your desire for radicalness. Sometimes you be like, yo, I really want to do this. Right. So I really want to do, I really want to do this one, well, a few things, but you know, sometimes you be thinking like, oh, people are not going to like it at X, Y, and Z. But your intuition is like, yo, I got to do this. I got to do this. And it keep on coming up. You got to listen to that. You got to listen to it. Right? So it's our job to turn up our passion, our faith, our dreams, and believe in thyself. Right? So how do one improve on enhancing their tu intuition you must create a plan for yourself and commit to that plan so for me i like i was telling you i i told myself that i will always have salon hair every day i'm gonna have salon hair every day everybody know me like my hair is always on fleek <laughs> period i don't care if i'm going to the trash my hair is done okay if i'm going to the pool my hair is done it, once i get out of the pool my hair is done i'm going to any event my hair is slayed Okay, my outfit is ready, best dress everywhere I go, period. Okay, and I'm not talking about it has to be the mo most expensive outfit because style, style doesn't always have to be overpriced. Okay, style is who you are, is your DNA, is what is your essence. Like I have great style. Sometimes you can't teach, you can't teach great style. You got to either have it or you don't. And if you don't have style, you usually look at somebody who does have style and then you replicate that. For me, I don't have to look at nobody for style because I got that in my blood because greatness running on my blood. OK, that's all I'm saying. All right. So moving right along, you have to improve your intuition. You must create a plan and commit to that plan. You got to commit to your assignment. When I say I'm committed to my podcast, I'm committed. When I say I'm committed to my fashion brand, I'm committed. I'm committed to my salon, committed. Committed to, to my fashion brand, to my to my school, committed. My, my nonprofit, committed. Okay, whatever I say I'm going to do, that's what I do. That's how you also increase and improve your intuition by listening to thyself. Listen to that gut, okay? So... Another way to be able to do that, you won't have to meditate. With that note, let me get my juice. You're going to have to meditate, y'all. <clears throat> meditate, I believe, in meditating and praying. So I grew up in a church, right? And we used to be, you know, going to church all the time, but they never really introduced meditation, right? Not until I got older, or oh, I should say more, more developed, okay? Because I've been in the dark room for a minute. I've been developing and I've learned because I'm a student of life. I've been learning to meditate, right? So what does meditate mean? Meditate meaning being still, quiet, long enough to hear the answer that you, the question that you ask, right? So it's being still and quiet enough to hear the answer to the question that you ask, right? And what does prayer mean? Prayer mean is you're asking the most high for direction. So I know for me to be able to improve how I've been working on improving my intuition, which is to be quiet and to be still and to be alone, okay? You have to... Give yourself the gift of quiet time. Mm -hmm. Quiet time. So before you start meditating, we're going to ask ourselves. I have seven questions that you should ask yourself 
before you start meditating. And while you're meditating, these answers, they're going to just flood right in there. You're going to, the answers are going to just come in. Don't talk, just listen, right? So some of the questions you could ask is, what do I want? You're going to ask self, what do I want? I'd be asking myself, Shardona, what do you want? Even today, what, what's the vibe you're going for today? Goddess. And she did. And it's giving. It's giving a goddess. It's giving gorgeousness. It's giving just clean. It's giving like that fashionista. You know what I'm saying? I, got, I don't got to think too much. We just show up and it is. Period. Whatever I say, that's what it is. Number two, so we, you're going to ask yourself, what do I want? What feels good to my spirit and soul? What brings me joy to my life? What excites my soul? What do I want to do for the next six months, a year, seven years, for a lifetime? What does my life look like? What makes me feel passionate, okay? What sets my life on fire? What sets me on fire, like, okay? Then go to meditation, be still and be quiet. And yourself, your intuition, your gut is going to start answering these questions for you. And what you got to do, once you hear it, once you hear what the answer is, you have you write it down and you have that radical action. Okay. Don't second guess yourself. Do not second guess yourself, right? Because a lot of the time we will second guess ourselves, like, no, I ain't gonna do that. Somebody else doing that. Somebody else doing that, but you not. Don't worry about what they doing. Worry about what you doing. Mind your business. My nails look so cute. Anyway, mind your business. And it's not mind your business. It's mind, minding. When you're minding, you're working. Work on your business. Mind your business, right? And that's so, so important to tune into yourself and be, and we talked about grounding last week and tap into thyself, really understand yourself and what you need from yourself, Okay. Um, the question is, will you be bold enough to act on what you heard from your gut and your spirit and your soul? Would you be, are you going to be bold enough to listen? Mm. Whew. I'm giving y'all all the gems right now, but you know what we're going to do? I'm going to give y'all the quote and I'm going to give y'all a song. Okay. Remember to keep dreaming big. Okay. Your dreams are your priority. Your dreams are your priority, your priority. And speaking about dreams, okay, I just want to just say kudos to me because literally I live in my dreams and I'm super excited about that. Everything that I say I want, I get, period. Speaking of walking in my step, I want to give a big shout out to Copper Flex, my cuz, all the way from 876. This one is called Guide My Step because the most high have to guide your step because if you don't guide your step, child, you're going to be a step. Okay. 